Now these, at first glance, you might think are your typical Italian, you know, style stilettos, lever locks, but these, my friends, are not from Italy. The fit and finish is just absolutely perfect. This thing is just snazzy as all get out. How's it going guys? This is Holly with Grindworks and today we have some really interesting knives on the table. Now these, at first glance, you might think are your typical Italian, you know, style stilettos, lever locks, but these, my friends, are not from Italy. These are a variety from Russia. So this is a category of knife that I only just became familiar with recently, and I've started to hear some whisperings on the internet, some people saying that the Russian version of Italian style knives are better than the Italian ones. So I decided I'd like to take a look at these firsthand and see what I thought. So this first knife we're looking at here, this is the Zlatoust Russian Leverlock. It comes in at $124.99, so these guys are not cheap, but man, are they beautiful. Just look at those wooden handle scales. This lever lock also has titanium liners. If we get her opened up here. Some very smart action. A drop point blade with a flat grind, and this subtle ergonomic shaping of the handle. As you saw here, it comes with a nylon belt sheath, since none of these knives have pocket clips. And overall, just a really beautiful knife. Now, I did find, as I was, you know, comparing some of the samples in the warehouse, that the stain can be inconsistent on these wooden scales. I came across some that were lighter than this, some that kind of had a gray tone to them. This one has almost a walnut look to it, or maybe an oak. I think the fit and finish could be a little bit better. The joints between the wood and the bolsters could be a little smoother, but man, it's got a lot of pros. It's contoured not only this way, but this way as well, which makes it very comfortable to handle. And if you flip the lever up, after you've opened it into the locked position, you'll find that they've ground it down right there, which makes a really handy, comfy little spot to put your thumb while you're holding it. And it just, it feels so good. There's no sharp edges anywhere or anything. So the placement is just really natural in your hand. And overall, I, I just think the design is very attractive. It's traditional, yet it has a contemporary feel to it that I, I really like. So about 125, check the site for current pricing. But considering the materials and just how beautiful this knife is and how snappy that action is, I'd say that's actually a pretty good price. I mean, it's very comparable to the pricing you'd see on some of the higher end Italians. Let's look at another knife from Zlataust. This one is the Walnut Russian Auto. Not the typical Italian motif that we're accustomed to seeing, but it still has a very traditional look about it with these beautiful walnut scales that have been just smooth to perfection. This also has titanium liners, and overall, it's, it's a very lightweight, lightweight knife. Very, very snappy spring in there. That blade comes out really strong and hard. And it has just this beautiful engraved blade with a hollow grind, a little small swedge on the back here, but a you know mirror polish that's just something to behold. Absolutely gorgeous. Comes with a nice leather sheath. Now there is no safety. I wish that they had put a safety mechanism on here somewhere because that button does sit up a little bit high. There is a potential to fire this accidentally, but I have a feeling that this is gonna be more of a collector's piece and that you'll be very careful with it. Again, nice and snappy. Has a very sleek, gentlemanly look to it. Love the peek at those barrel spacers back there. The fit and finish is just absolutely perfect. And snappy, snappy, snappy. Woo, almost lost it. So let's take a look at another brand called Medte. Med, Medte, Med, Medte, Med. Somebody who knows how to say that, please tell me how to say that. This is an eight inch Russian lever lock, $134.99. Wooden handle scales, stainless steel hardware and liners, nicely contoured handle, no lower bolster. They do have a version of this with a lower bolster, but I kind of like the cleaner look of the handle without the lower bolster. It has a drop point Damascus blade. Get a look at that cool logo there. One other departure from your typical Italian design is that a lockback mechanism rather than 
you know, having the lever function as the lock as well. We got a lock back. I'm not sure I actually like that because it's a little tricky to to handle. For me personally, I'm not a huge fan of lockback mechanisms, but it sure looks fancy. It is on the chunky side. I, I have a hard time foreseeing carrying this in the pocket. And I think the, the fit and finish overall could, could be a tad better. You know, maybe give some extra attention to that lever, round out some of these edges. But on the upside, this chunky handle is actually quite comfortable. There's no hot spots or anything anywhere. And it's different. You know, it doesn't quite look like any other lever lock I've seen out there. So overall, I still think this is a great piece. Okay, does it surprise you that the last one is my favorite? Now this one here, I have to correct myself. Not everything on the table is Russian. This guy right here is from the Czech Republic. This is the Mykov 241 Predator. Coming in at $89.99. And it is absolutely gorgeous. Really beautiful wooden handle scales. I'm not sure what type of wood this is, but the variation in the grain is just absolutely stunning. We've got a bayonet style blade, well contoured handle, and my favorite part, the lever sits flush with the handle. As far as cons with this knife, dude, I can't find any. It's got really strong, smooth action. Really smooth, open, and close. I think this contemporary design is really attractive. It's comfortable in your hand. The fit and finish is all there. I really just can't find anything wrong with this. And admittedly, the Mykov is one of the really popular knives on our site, you know, even compared with the Italians. And it comes in so many varieties. This is a newer model that we got in recently, but I mean, it's it's got some kind of polymer or acrylic scale version as well. It comes in a lot of different colors like black, white, yellow, green, blue, you know, you name it, it's probably there. We've even got some coated blades. Ooh, you should go look on the site. There's one with a black coated blade and a black handle that is just like <sighs> sexy. So I think you know which one I like best, but these are all great examples of Italian-esque knives that come from other parts in the world. I mean, I really like this one. I really like this one. Not quite my cup of tea, but also a good one. So those of you who have branched out into the um, generally Eastern European flavor of Italian knives, let me know in the comments what you think. How do you feel like these compare to the Italians? Because so far I feel like they're just, they're completely on par. And in many cases, their prices are better. So leave me a comment below, guys. And as always, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe because there are more videos coming this way and we wouldn't want you to miss out. And I hear the vacuum in the background. That's probably my cue to leave. So thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye.